OK, so this is obviously the front row of um, apartments onto the villas. And what they've done is they've continued this road now around. So this is everyone. This is um, the Club Med Resort, front row of the villas. But this is changed from last time I was here, which is the road now up through the... Um, through the trees, obviously, into the uh, uh, to the beach, I presume, is up there. And what they've also done is this road, obviously, continues all the way to the front row of apartments at the bottom, which has obviously not been there before. Um, coming back around, I don't know if you can see the workmen in front of us just over here who are doing stuff with the pool. But um, coming back around, that's the so front row of apartments, second, third. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in on. That's the pool area. Which I'll walk up to. But this is quite good because there used to be a row of trees here, which has now been completely removed. So this is the. Um, the pool on this side, pool here, and that is meant to be the kids' area over there, which I'm not 100% sure on because when I was here last, that was going to be um, like a water purification area. So um, the kids' area, which is actually on the plans, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Um, and in front, you can see the trees, which have now been cleared from this bit. And there's lots of orange trees and everything over here, which is obviously the, some of the gardens and everything. But it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So all this hardcore has gone in for the, the villas, which is good. And the walls look pretty nice. And one of the major things that we're seeing, and I urge you to check, is you see the water flowing over the balconies. And I know in our apartment and up on the top there, um, there's a lot of damp. In most of his apartments, you can see it again on that one over there, on the walls. There's a lot of damp in his apartment, so that's something definitely on your snagging list you'll need to have a look out for. There they are, that's the pool. There's your trees. Back row, second row. Okay, so that's the first row. Um, second row, third row. And that's the end of the building. So that area is in front of this row of um, flats. We've now worked out that that is actually probably going to be the, um, the botanical garden. So just driving through one of the... Uh, this is the second and third row, I think, of um, flats. Oh, yeah, see, that's the botanical garden, we think. Yeah, a bit quicker than me walking through, anyway, that's... So, um... I remember that from earlier. What we're going to go and see is the end block and then we're going to drive into where the, uh, the restaurant is. Uh, now this we think is where the uh, end of the group we think the um, entrance to the uh, entrance to Club Med there, and this is the entrance in, so where the restaurant's going to be. So it looks like up here, this is where this is a swimming pool coming up on the left-hand side, and the tennis courts and everything over there. So there's lots of building going on here. So and the football pitch that we're aware about. And I assume this here is the restaurant. 
Um, with the swimming pool in the background, so it's quite a nice facility, really. To the uh, the rest of it, but that's it's a long way off. That's not a quick build. Um, Let's come around. These are the properties around the pool, which were at base level when I was here last in September. So they've come on quite away quite quickly. So you can see there's still a lot of building there for March. So personally, I'm not quite sure how they're going to get that done. Anyway, looks good. Sorry, I'm going to carry that one on. So we're going around, this is around the back of the villas, um, into the trees as you can see, just to try and work out where this walk through is going to be, um, to the beach. Now, to all intents and purposes, what happened last year in talking to some of the builders is this whole area was completely clear, was actually was rubble on the ground and I don't know if you can see that most of these trees, I mean you can see here, this was a, originally a tree but it got completely cut back um, but what's happened in the last year this is all regrown a little bit now what we can't tell is where this path is going to go through into the woods and out but um, what we know is that some of these trees, allegedly these trees were diseased so they had to be cut back um, like this, I mean you can see here for example there's a massive tree stump so I don't know whether that was the truth or not but um, certainly they're very close to the villas so that may have been a problem um, but there's no evidence so far as to where our walkthrough is going to be that's obviously the road in the back of the villas but at the moment I, it's going to be hard to get this finished by March I can tell you that and that's at the end which has always been done so yeah we'll see. so there's the restaurant big up coming around with some stuff obviously this is the swimming pool and then you can see behind it the work on the buildings some guys up there doing some brickwork this is lunch time but um, There we are, so that's what's going on around the pool.